Do you have difficulties to color grade your lock files? What if we can grade them with just one click? Yes, please. If you are a filmmaker, editor, or colorist, you'll have heard of ACES, which stands for Academy Color Encoding System. But if not, ACES is an encoding system that tries to take in as much dynamic range and color information as possible. This means that ACES is one of the best ways to increase your color grading workflow efficiency for turning your light files to Rec. 709 with just one or a few clicks no matter what you are shooting with. Sony, Canon, RED, Mavic 2 Pro, and so on. But before jumping to the tutorial, if you are new here, my name is Ehsan. I'm doing photography and filmmaking tutorials, editing tips, and tech reviews. So if you are interested in one of those topics, make sure to hit that red subscribe and bell notification button so you won't miss any future videos. Enough with the tech talks, and let's jump into the DaVinci Resolve to see how to do it. I have three different shots. First with Sony s 2 second with Sony s 3 and the last one is a C200 footage. To be able to use ACES color space, go to the file menu and open the project settings. In the color management tab, for the color science, choose ACES CC. In most of the case, ACES CC covers you, so don't worry about the ACES CCT. This is gonna tell the DaVinci Resolve that we wanna use ACES color space for a project. And now we have to set an output color space. I want to change this log files to Rec. 709. So open the ACES output device transform drop menu and choose Rec. 709. Hit save. Our files are gonna look a bit funky and weird, but this is because we haven't chosen the right input for these footages. So go to the color page and make sure the clips panel is enabled. Let's make the preview image fit to the window and make a right click on the first clip. Go to the ACES input transform and choose the color space that the clip was shot with. This one was shot with s 2, so I'm choosing Sony s 2. And now the footage is looking fantastic. Let's choose the right input for the next clips as well, like the first one. And now we have a perfect color correction with the most dynamic range possible for clips, literally with just one click. This is the first method. But sometimes you don't want to change the entire project color space to ACES. In this case, we can take advantage of the ACES color space just on the color page. Let's switch to another project to see how to do it. In this project, I have two drone shots and a Sony s 3 to see what to do in different situations. Go to the color page, open the OpenFX panel, under the Resolve FX color, add a color space transform to the node. This is a Mavic 2 Pro footage, so select DJI D gamut for input color space. And for the input gamma, choose DCI. You can simply choose Rec. 709 for the output color space and output gamma, and you will get a decent result. But in my experiences, I found that there is a better way to secure more dynamic range in the footage. So for the output color space, choose Ori Alexa, and for the output gamma, choose ACES CC. Now you have a more flat footage that helps us to maintain a higher dynamic range for the clip. Add a serial node, and add another color space transform to it. For the input color space and gamma, choose what we chose for the preview node output, Ari Alexa and ACES CC. And for the output color space and output gamma, choose Rec. 709. We have a nice image now, but to maintain more in the highlights, or if your highlights look a bit unnatural, just choose luminance mapping for the tone mapping method and you are good to go. 
One of the advantages of this method is that you can work on the exposure of the shot before the second note. So you have a nice control of what you are doing and what it's gonna look like at the end. To do that, select the first note and add another serial note by hitting Option or Alt S. Let's move the highlight dot on the curve to the right a bit to make the highlights a bit brighter. Move the mid-tone and the shadows up a bit to make them brighter too. And now we have a nice and perfect color grade for our Mavic 2 Pro footage. This is before and after. To add this method to other clips, just select the next clip, go to the color menu, and hit on apply grade from one clip per year. The same settings will be applied to this one too. It is already good enough, but we can make it better by adding a bit to the gain, gamma, and lift on the color wheels. It makes the footage a bit brighter and adds more contrast to it. Move to the next clip and apply the adjustments to the third clip as well. It's absolute junk because we have the rank input settings for this shot on the first node. First, remove the second node and click on the first one. Open the OpenFX panel and choose Sony S gamut for the input color space and Sony S Lock 3 for the input gamma. You don't need to change anything on the second node. It's good, but moving the lift to the left and gamma to the right on another serial node between both nodes will make it even better by adding a bit more contrast to it. Now you can simply work on your footage and apply any lot or color grading you want to this perfect Rec. 709 file. I'm not gonna take your time with what I'm doing on these steps and how I'm getting a perfect skin tone on my color grading. I have a video for that topic. So if you are interested, check the link on the screen or in the description section. Having unnatural skin tone is the most common mistake that I see a lot, and fixing it isn't hard at all. Check the video to find out how to do it right. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, do share and write a comment down below. Hit that subscribe and bell notification button if you haven't subscribed yet, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you in the next video.